what's wrong with the world? Actually, there's nothing wrong with the world. It's beautiful. <laughs> Hello, uh, my name is Davis Freeman, and I have a piece coming up, which is the world premiere of a show called A Better Place that I'm uh, made with um, Jeremy Killick. Um, it's a performer I've been working for a long time. Now, this show is um, our attempt to help change the world and to make it uh, well, better. We kind of know that we have quite a lot of challenges politically, economically, and mostly environmentally. And we're trying to tackle some of these issues and in a way that's a bit humorous, <laughs> but also a bit mix of educational and still performative to create a show that then actually something real can happen, that then we walk out of it with maybe a little bit of more knowledge and a little bit of more tools of things that we can do together. The European Union wastes one third of the food that it grows. Now, if you just imagine that instead of being wasted, that food wasn't grown in the first place, and the land used was used to plant trees. Now, those trees would offset the carbon emissions of the whole of the European Union. Well, we said we were going to try to solve all the world's problems in 45 minutes, so there's two. <laughs> Yeah, we're only 10 minutes in. <laughs> but uh, in reality, those ideas are not going to happen. No, no. So then, realistically, Jay, what can we do to make the world a better place? <laughs> At the end of the day, I mean, I watched Al Gore's Inconvenient Truth and I just fell asleep because it was just so, not that it wasn't important, but it's just so boring. But I find it very important though that then you don't say you have to do this, you have to do that. You can't tell people what to do. You just got to lay things out there and have a sense of humor and still remember we're in a theater, you know, we're in a theater and I'm making art, which is a mix of this activism, and so I, I, I still understand that we're in a theater, theatrical evening. So I hope that you have this impetus or this desire um, to help change or shift your viewpoint or help contribute to a more environmentally world, but also you have a good time too. Yeah, we know not to. We know not to rely on our political elites to come up with any half-decent idea. Yeah, and they say that the ideas either come from the top down, well, they have a chance it's not working. So the ideas got to come from the bottom up. Yep, okay. absolutely. So, right, I guess, stand up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll stand up too. So, um, <laughs> what ideas can we gather to, can, that we can help make the world a better place? Right, we need ideas that are going to get people excited, they're going to take people by surprise. Yeah. We need to think outside the box. Sure. So the boxes. Jerry, we're in a box right now. <laughs> a lot of times when you do a show that's kind of political or, or activist or environmentally conscious, you are preaching to the converted because those people are already there that are interested in it. So you're like, why preach to these people? So since we already have those people there and there are, their minds are already open enough to it, I try to find a strategy where we can reach beyond the theater and get a conversation that will go on outside of the, that, that realm. And I'm going to leave that strategy as a surprise that you'll see during the show. There's not something like this out there, and it's unusual. Uh, um, it also has a sense of humor, and also I think that I try to empower people so that they don't feel so helpless, and that it feels like you, there are concrete things you can do. So I think that my biggest um, task is to give a, people a sense of empowerment, and maybe a few laps, too. Um, I hope that you join us. It's on... February 21st and 26th, 22nd in the Monty, and um, I hope to see you there. <laughs>